Hello everyone, in this demo, we will see how we can integrate an Oracle database running in Excel database service on dedicated infrastructure with OCI full stack DI. I am Suraj Ramesh, I am principal product manager at Oracle. So here are the prerequisites and assumptions. So we will be using OCI Phoenix region. So in that we have two ADs, AD1 will be designated as primary and AD2 will be designated as standby. But we highly recommend to use cross region uh, data guard setup for better disaster recovery uh, requirements. So we have already created two X-ray data uh, clusters. So the primary database is running in VM cluster 1 and then the standby database is running in VM cluster 2. Then uh, an object storage bucket has been created. So this will be used for storing the full stack DR logs. And then finally, by using the OCI wall service, uh, we have created a secret which is the database's password, uh, uh, which will be used for doing this exercise. So during this demo, uh, we will go through all these processes. So we'll set up the DR production groups. So we'll name it as XRVM1 and XRVM2. Uh, XRVM1 will be associated as primary and XRVM2 will be associated as standby. And then uh, the database members will be added in both DRPG. So the primary DB will be added in the XRVM1 DRPG and the standby DB will be added in XRVM2 DRPG. And the, once the members are added, we will create a secure plan. So the plan creation execution always happens from the standby DRPG as you have So we'll be creating a secure plan from XRVM2 DRPG. Once the plan is created, we'll run the pre-checks uh, for the secure plan and then we'll execute the actual secure plan and verify the database source has been successful to transition. And then uh, we will do the failover plan, the next uh, use case. So now, uh, since the database role has been transitioned, right? so the DRPG role will also get transitioned. So XRVM1 will become primary and XRVM2 will become standby. Uh, sorry, XRVM2 will be primary and XRVM1 will be standby. So for this failover plan, we'll be creating the plan in the XRVM1 DRPG. So we'll be creating the plan as a failover plan, and then we'll run the pre-checks for the failover plan. And finally, we will execute the failover plan and verify. So let's jump into the actual demo now. Right, so as you can see in the OCI console, we have a VM cluster one, uh, which is created in the XRADA based service and dedicated infrastructure. So here uh, we have multiple database. So the database which we are going to use is uh, DB1112. So this database uh, is source primary and the, the data guard associated database is running in the VM cluster 2, right? So I'll show that as well. So here we have the VM cluster 2 and the associated database is DB1112. Uh, so this is the standby database. So we have our primary database DB1112 running in uh, VM cluster 1 and we have the respective standby database DB1112 running in uh, VM cluster 2. So now let's go into the uh, disaster recovery service to create the protection group and associate and let's add the members. So here I'm going to create first my uh, XR VM1 uh, DR protection group and giving my compartment and then object storage bucket and then uh, hit create. So once this is creating in parallel, we will uh, create the DR protection group, the second one as well. Right? So we will create uh, XR VM2. Okay. And then we'll provide the compartment name and then object storage bucket and then create. So while it's getting created. Let's go here and see what is the status. So it's getting created. Both DRPGs are in same region right? because the database is running in same region with different VD. Now let's associate the VM uh, DR protection group. Right? So we have the XRVM1 and 2 already created. So let's select the role as primary. The peer region is being uh, same region, right? So we have to select the Phoenix. Uh, so then we will select the this, the VM2 as the PR protection group PR1. So once this is selected, just hit associate. So now the role gets now the role will be associated as primary for VM1, and then the role will be associated as standby for the VM2. Okay, now the role association has been done. 
So XRVM1 is shown as primary and XRVM2 is standby. So now let's add the members. So go into the resources section of the XRVM DRPG, go to the members, click add member, and then select the resource type, and then select the database, and hit this check mark button. So we are going to use the XRA database. So select Oracle XRA data on Oracle Public Cloud. So my database is running in different compartments. So I have to change the compartment. So you have to select the right compartment where your database is running. So my primary database is running in VM Cluster 1. And select the right database depending on which other database. So my database is DB11 level 2. And this is the password you have to do. So again, uh, the password is in uh, different uh, compartment so I have to select the right uh, compartment so now I'm selecting the uh, password secret so I've created a password post type here excel so select the required password secret according to the naming standard whichever you provided so now hit add so this will be adding the primary database uh, running in the XRA data cluster as a member in the XRVM1 DRP. So while it's getting added, let's add the standby database uh, uh, in the XRVM2 DRP. The same process, go to the members, add member, select the database, hit this checkbox, select Oracle XRA data on Oracle Public Cloud. Again, uh, change the, your compartment depending on where the database is running. Now the cluster is VM cluster 2, that's where my standby database is running. And the DB1112 is my uh, database. And again, change your compartment where your secret is there. That's this DR XR. So this is my secret, so hit add. So yeah, this is how you can add your uh, members in both primary and standby. So now let's check the members whether it's been added. So go to the members. Here you can see my primary database is added in, X, in my primary DRPG. And similarly, uh, if we go to my uh, VM2, where I'll be seeing the standby database uh, VM2, which got added. So both of my members are added in the respective DR production group. Now we can create the situation plan in the standby DRPG. So go to the plan section, create a plan give a name so let's say situate from xr vm1 to xr vm2 select the plan type situate and hit create within few seconds the plan will be created so the situate plan has been created so we have the inbuilt built-in pre-checks and the plan group for situating the database has been created so now Let's do go ahead and run the pre-checks. So go ahead and run the pre-check and hit the end pre-checks button. So you can do uh, pre-check any name. So I'll give XRVM1 to XRVM2 switch over pre-checks. Run pre-check. So the pre-checks has been executed. So this will be doing whether the data guard is synchronized and synced and all the pre-checks required for the database to show to happen successfully. So the status is showing in queue. Uh, within few seconds, it will move into progress and then this, it will show the status successfully. And the status has changed from queue to in progress where you can view the log and download the log uh, in a live manner. Right? So you can see the logs where it is trying to attempt the database to show pre-check and then it verifies the primary database has the right rule and similarly the standby database has the right rule. So is this all the pre-checks for the actual switchover uh, scenario? The switchover uh, pre-check got completed successfully. So you can see the status is succeeded. So considering this, let's do the switchover now. So go ahead and execute the DR plan. Sit, hit execute DR plan and select the DR plan name. If you want, you can do the pre-checks again, but since I just did a couple of minutes, I will, I will remove this checkbox, but it's highly recommended to do that. In the plan execution name, you can give a meaningful name. So switch over XRVM1 
to XR VM2. So this will initiate the switchover of the database DB level double one double two from the XR VM1 to XR VM2 cluster. So again, it will be in queued state. Uh, within few seconds, the status will transition uh, into an in progress, and then once it's completed, it will serve as succeeded. So the status got uh, changed from queue to in progress, where you can monitor the logs in the switcher. So if you watch down to the end of the log, where it, it says the switcher has been started, right? Attempting to do the database switchover, we will also see that a status changing in the XR data console, also, right? So if you navigate to the XR database uh, running in the XR cluster, right, you can see the database state has been changed from available to the updating state and that can be verified in the walk request as well right the data guard switch over is in progress so let's wait for a few minutes it, it will take three to four minutes for this to complete we'll come back quickly once the switch over is done so the switch over of the database has been completed successfully you can see the status has moved from in progress to succeeded you can verify the log and download the log depending on your requirement so now let's verify the status of the DRPG. Uh, so once the switchover has been done, right, the XRVM2 has become primary. Now that's where the primary database is running. And the XRVM1 has become standby. So the route registration has been happened successfully at the database level as well as the DRPG level. So this completes our first demo. And now we will initiate a failover plan. So the XRVM1 is a standby DRPG. So this is where the standby database is running and XRVM2 is a primary DRPG where your primary DB is running. So as a normal thing, right, we have to create your DR plan only from the standby DRP. So let's create a DR plan, give a name, XRVM2, XRVM1. So this is the failover plan select the failover plan. So the plan will be created within a few seconds. So I've just started creating a plan. So the, the failover plan has been created. So you, you have an inbuilt pre-checks and then a failover database plan. So now let's run a pre-check for this one. So you come here and do pre-check XRVM2 XRVM2 VM1. So now hit run pre-check. So what it does, it helps you to check the pre-check whether we can do the failure of the database successfully. Right? So within a few seconds it will move from queue to in progress and then to succeed. So the pre-check execution has been successfully completed. As you can see here it succeeded. So now let's move on to the actual execution of this failure plan. So execute the DR plan, select the DR plan and then provide a name. So the failover plan has been executed now. So again, it's in queued state, and within few seconds, uh, it will go into the failover plan. So, if, so within few seconds, it moved into the in progress state. You can see the log. Right. We'll come back. So the failover has been started and it's in progress. You can also verify in the VM cluster. So VM cluster one has. Uh, standby database and VM2 has the primary database. So the row status has been showing as updated in updating in the DB status. So the failover plan is completed. So you can see the status seems succeeded. You can verify the log and download the log if required. So again uh, once the plan has succeeded the role will be changed automatically. Right? So you can see here the role of XRVM1 um, will be actually changing to changing into XRVM1 into the primary and XRVM2. Thank you for watching this.